Cellular Respiration Review, Part 1. This, uh, so overall, the chemical reaction for cellular respiration, remember, this is the process of taking food molecules, which we will simplify as glucose, C6H12O6, combining them with oxygen, and in the process, breaking the glucose down into smaller, simpler molecules, uh, carbon dioxide, and water, H2O, and in the process, releasing or capturing a lot of energy in the form of ATP. And this ATP, remember, is the overall goal of cellular respiration. The cell wants to get as much of this molecule as possible. This is the overall schematic for cellular respiration. Beginning here with glucose and going through the first set of reactions called glycolysis, which we will be covering in this review. And that yields, you can see here, two molecules of ATP. Uh, at the end of glycolysis, we have this molecule here called pyruvate. And this pyruvate molecule is very important because it forms, as you can see, the branch point for respiration. That branch point is dependent upon the presence or absence of oxygen. So if O2 is absent, it stays up here in the blue part of the diagram. And if oxygen is present, pyruvate will continue down into this set of this set of reactions down in the orange. We will not be covering this uh, this area down here. Uh, we are going to stay up in the set of reactions where oxygen is absent, and these are referred to as the anaerobic pathways. So if there is no oxygen present, if oxygen is absent, the pyruvate molecule continues on into another set of reactions called fermentation, which we will also cover in this review. But we will start with glycolysis. Okay, glycolysis. First important thing to remember about glycolysis is the location. And this occurs in the cytoplasm. So this is not located inside an organelle. Uh, two basic steps in the uh, glycolysis pathway. Uh, the first part here is glucose activation. And then after that, the part two is the energy harvest. In part one, glucose activation, the cell here actually uses up energy. Two ATP molecules are converted to two ADP, which is a lower energy molecule. The uh, phosphate groups that are lost going from ATP to ADP get attached here onto this intermediate, in, intermediate molecule. The names of these molecules are not overly important at this point. Uh, but this intermediate molecule then enters into the second set of reactions, the energy harvesting reactions, and this is the this is the point where the cell will actually get some energy out. Uh, another series of reactions, and here four ADP molecules are converted into four ATP molecules. And remember, ATP is the high energy molecule. So overall, through glycolysis, in the glucose activation step, the cell used two ATP, so that's minus two. In the energy harvesting step, it gained four. So overall, the cell gains two ATP. So that is where that number comes from. There is one other 
high energy molecule produced during glycolysis, and that is right here, this molecule NADH. Okay, NADH is an electron carrier. And I misspelled that. That should be a C. A high energy electron carrier. And it's going to carry these electrons into the next set of reactions. The final product here of the glycolysis are these two molecules here of pyruvate. Uh, so we've taken one six carbon molecule of glucose and split it down to two three carbon molecules of pyruvate. And there is still a good bit of energy in this pyruvate molecule. But without oxygen, the cell cannot get any more of it out. So what happens to this pyruvate if there is no oxygen present? If there is no oxygen present, the pyruvate, which is kind of here in the middle of this diagram, enters into what's called a fermentation pathway. And there are a few different fermentation pathways uh, in different organisms. This one, uh, which ends with this molecule of lactate, this occurs in animals and also in some bacteria. Okay, so the pyruvate molecule here is converted into another three carbon molecule called lactate. And along the way in fermentation, this high energy molecule, NADH, is converted back to the low energy form of NAD+. And the reason the cell does that is now this NAD plus can go back and participate in the reactions of glycolysis. And that keeps the glycolysis pathway active and allows a few ATP to be harvested. If fermentation did not happen, so if this pathway did not exist, once all of the NAD was used up by, gly by glycolysis, the cell would have no way to get energy. And as I said, this occurs in animals. So during strenuous exercise, uh, your muscles are using up oxygen faster than your blood can supply it. So you, uh, the muscles are going into oxygen debt. And the buildup of the lactic acid or lactate is what causes the muscles to burn after exercise. Uh, also, some species of bacteria can also do this. And this is what happens when we add bacteria to milk and we get yogurt. Okay, the acid, the lactic acid is produced and that causes the milk proteins to denature clump together and turn sort of solid into yogurt. Okay, so that is the uh, lactic acid fermentation pathway. And there is one other fermentation pathway which is active in other organisms. And this second fermentation pathway, uh, referred to sometimes as alcoholic fermentation, because the end product here is ethanol along with a molecule of CO2 gas. Uh, same basics of, of with the lactic acid fermentation. Um, py pyruvate is converted into these smaller molecules. NADH is converted back to NAD+, which can then go back and keep glycolysis moving along and getting two ACP per glucose molecule. So, what organisms do this? The main organism uh, that performs this type of fermentation is yeast, which is very important uh, to us for a few different foods. For bread, when the dough is rising with the action of yeast, 
that is because the CO2 gas is caught making little bubbles inside the dough and causing it to rise and increase in volume. And the other main use for uh, yeast fermentation is making any sort of alcoholic beverage, such as beer, uh, wine, or uh, other stronger uh, beverages, which kind of take a lot of the water out and just leave most of the ethanol. Okay, so that is, those are, excuse me, the anaerobic pathways. Glycolysis, which always happens first, and remember that happens in every living thing, does glycolysis essentially the same way. Um, and that leads to pyruvate, right there. And if there is no oxygen present, remember all of these are no oxygen, anaerobic, there's no oxygen present, it continues on into fermentation. Okay, either alcohol fermentation, as shown here, or lactic acid fermentation that was on the last uh, set of pictures.